Welcome to Open Box, the show where couples battle it out to prove their DIY wedding skills. I'm your host, Wendy. Let's go meet today's couple. The ring may be on her finger, but how well will this newly engaged couple do when they face off in the open box ring? What happens when you have a DIY wedding challenge and a wedding expert to watch your every move? And who will be the winner? This is Open Box. Standing at six foot one, Victor is a former artist turned accountant. Will his performance tower over his bride-to-be and knock it out of the park, or will he get knocked out today? Don't judge this book by its cover. Jennifer, who is also an accountant, may be small in size, but mighty in ferocity. Does she have what it takes to go the distance and win the main event, or will she crumble under the pressure? Today's wedding expert comes to us from La Dolce and her name is Patricia. Welcome to the show, Patricia. Thank you for having me. Patricia is a cake decorator at La Dolce, located in the Trinity Bellwoods area of downtown Toronto. Not only do they create custom works of art for weddings and events, they also host classes in their studio. Their classes range from learning the skills to decorate an entire cake to creating macarons and pies from scratch. They cater to all ages and skill levels as well. Dearly beloved, we are here today for the Open Box Challenge. I just have one question for this lovely couple. Do you, Jen, and do you, Victor, accept this challenge? If you do, please say, we do. We, we do. do. It's time to open the box and you get to see your challenge. Now that Jen and Victor have opened the box, today's challenge is going to be to decorate this cake as Patricia has decorated. Now Patricia tells us that she needs 20 minutes to get this cake ready, so we're going to give Jen and Victor 30 minutes to try and do the best that they can for accuracy and creativity. Let's see how they do. Now Patricia, our wedding expert, has given Victor and Jen some instructions. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Do you want to watch it? Okay, this is your last chance to look at this cake. 30 minutes on the clock. Go! You're going down. You're going down. Don't copy me! <laughs> no! This thumb's yours. Don't touch mine. Okay. I'm gonna do it faster so you can't copy me. I'm telling you. I totally forgot that this is how you make the cake stay uh, anchored. How long in advance do you usually get ready to make a cake like this? Um, like this, a couple of the toppers have to uh, be prepped and ready. Mm -hmm. So like the chocolate shards need to dry, so those need a couple hours or a couple days, um, depending on what's on them. Um, but then the cake is baked and everything is done usually the day before the day of. Oh whoa, that's the last minute. Mm. Um, what's something that like someone underestimates when they decide to DIY their own cake? The equipment you need. Um, you need the proper spatulas, the proper ingredients, mm -hmm. um, the tools, the turntable is really key. <laughs> yes. Uh, when I first started doing cakes, I didn't have a turntable. I used a plate turned upside down. As the like, stand. Like super DIY. Oh, yeah. It didn't work very well, but yeah. like I managed. Oh, um, you put it the wrong Between the two of them, how do you think they're doing? You did it wrong. Oh, Yours is that's almost the other way. Um, Victor's cake is a little bit lopsided. That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> I told you. No, it's the, the way the chocolate shards were made. <laughs> it's natural. Really? Yeah. We're doing like a Everybody knows winning. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mine's a leaning power piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Victor, Jen, tell us how you met. Uh, we met through Jen's best friend, Candice, who okay. introduced us. We, she thought that me and Jen would hit it off. Which... <laughs> so like she was just like, you should just talk to someone. And I was just like, okay. Like, you know, I was really up for it and then um, the first time he messaged me, he messaged me on a Sunday and he was just like, how's it going? And then he was just like, just so you're not creeped out, I'm Candace's friend. <laughs> Candace is the end. Yeah, and then I was just like, oh, okay. So then we like chatted for a couple weeks before we first met and mm -hmm. had our first um, date. So it really was kind of like a blind, blind date. date yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys, five minutes have passed. Okay. Oh, oh my God. God. This is a lot easier when Patricia explained it. Yeah. Yeah, in your mind you pictured it going perfectly, right? Yeah, like it was the, just gonna be like the, uh, the marriage of buttercream and and cake. And cake. Oh I'm getting married. Oh, <laughs> so out of the two of you, who do you think has a bit more artistic talent? 
Ooh, artistic talent, I definitely think he's better in. I'm really good at stick people. <laughs> but when we play Pictionary, no one understands what I'm trying to draw. I'm like, just follow the door. She's the worst Pictionary partner. <laughs> wow, Whoa. smooth. Come on, Baskin Robbins, let's go. Show <laughs> All right, guys, 10 minutes have passed, so that's one third of your time. Okay, hey guys, I'm gonna give you a tip. Okay. Yep. To get it smooth, use a clean spatula. Oh. So wipe, wipe it off on the Tupperware. Oh. <laughs> Patricia, come on, and you gotta wait till 10 minutes to tell them that? Come wow. on. You were watching us. These results. Yeah. You were watching us struggle so badly with this? Yeah, I was holding it in. <laughs> So Patricia, if you had 15 minutes left, where would you be in um, this? <laughs> not no. <laughs> um, I would probably be putting on the final touches. Final touches. <laughs> oh, I was looking for these. Okay, just over five minutes. These are the leaves. Very <laughs> Oh, oh There's only five more minutes left? Mm-hmm. Well, Patricia says she needs 20 minutes, so by now, she'd be long done. Hey, you're copying me. Huh? No, I'm not. You are! Huh? Are no, I'm not. You should have had, like, a board. Because, look. Yeah, you're kicked on the side of the Okay, we're going to come in and take a look. These are the last two minutes. Okay, 15 seconds. There's a lot of sabotage going on. There are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tools down, tools down, tools down, tools down. Okay. Patricia will now be looking at these cakes to assess their accuracy as well as the professionalism in their making. Thankfully, the one thing she won't have to judge is their taste since she was the one who provided all the materials. It's time to find out today's open box challenge winner. Our special guest, Patricia, will do the honors. All right, so after much deliberation, we've chosen a winner based off of technique, uh, use of tools, and smoothness of buttercream. The winner is... If you have any suggestions for our future episodes, tell us and we might be opening the box to your challenge next time. Thanks for watching. My name is Wendy and I'll see you next time. Bye.